In our last episode, Waldo and Fillmore had split up. Waldo going his way and Fillmore going his way. But it so happened that as Fillmore was leaving town, he ran into a pair of notorious crooks named Kostra and Nostra. That's, That's us. us. Say, big hairy fella, how would you like to join up with us? Uh, what do I have to do? All you gotta do is blow your bugle. Uh, at last. Music lovers. What Fillmore didn't know was that the Costra Nostra brothers were planning on stealing the son of millionaire Faubus Flytrap and holding him for ransom. Ah, uh, pardon me for seeming stupid, but just how are we going to use a bugle-blowing bear in this caper? Look, every day Flytrap takes the kid and his baby buggy into the park, right? Except when it rains, right. Well, a bugle-blowing bear is quite a novelty. I mean, how many times you been in a park and seen a bugle-blowing bear? I mean, it's downright uncommon. But he plays so downright bad. That don't matter. Nobody's expecting Chopin out of a stupid bear. But I still don't see. When he starts blowing his stupid bugle, all the people in the stupid park are going to flock around him. Father's fly trap junior will be left unguarded. Then we sneak him and we nab him. Meanwhile, Waldo had a change of heart and realized that he had been harsh to Fillmore. Both he and Hoppity set out to find him. What made me say the things I did, Hoppity? How could I do it? It was probably anger at the spur of the moment. No, it was anger at his bugle. You know what I called him? I called him a noodle foozle nincompoop. Well, that was rather strong. We must find him, Hoppity, so that I can beg his forgiveness. It wasn't going to be as easy as Waldo thought to track down Fillmore because he hadn't reckoned on such obstacles as Susan Swivel Hips. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter, Waldo? You gotta go back. That's what's the matter. But I thought you wanted to find Fillmore and apologize. Of course I want to find Fillmore and apologize, but don't you see? Susan, if she catches me, I'm a goner. I'll be married so fast it'll make your head spin. But, Waldo, think of something. Use your brain. Hoppity, my boy, I've got it! Subterfluge! Subterfluge? We'll disguise ourselves. Oh. Oh, well, may I see the baby? Oh, well, certainly, my dear. Coochie, coochie, coo. Didip, didip. What did he say? Hey, uh, he has a bad cold. Well, you ought to keep him bundled up, honey. He's got enough bad news going for him without getting pneumonia. Mm. Oh, yes. Now, if you'll excuse us. Camphorated oil. What? Rub his chest with camphorated oil. I just happen to have some here. Madam, that really won't be necessary. Oh, dear. Now, big hairy fella, you see by this map here, you are to stand at this here Rex. Now, when I give the signal, you start to blow your bugle. So I stand on this X and blow my bugle. And you blow that there bugle like you never blown it before. So I stand on that X and I blow that there bugle like I've never blown it uh, before. No, Strap. Are you sure this is going to work? Madam, I cannot permit you to rub this child with temperated oil. But it'll do him a world of good. All right, now everybody synchronize their watches. Uh, but I ain't got no watch. Don't you worry about a watch. Just blow your bugle. Uh, all right. Not now, I'll tell you when. All right, men, let's go. My baby! And at that very moment, in accord with the diabolical plan of the Costra Nostra brothers, Balbus Flytrap left for the park with Balbus Flytrap Jr. That's my boy. Will the Costra Nostra brothers get away with their scheme? Will Waldo and Susan save Hoppity before the light changes? See our next episode. A lark in the park, or will the real Balbus Flytrap please stand up? <laughs>